Welcome to Lightspeed's video support. I'm Matt, here to show you how to set up your Verifone E285 Plus payment terminal, connect it to your network, and add it to your Lightspeed Restaurant K-Series back office. It's important that you only use the terminal supplied to you by Lightspeed, because any terminal obtained from a third party won't be configured for your account and could be a security risk. If you need more detailed troubleshooting or setup instructions, visit the link in the video description for the E285 article on our help center. Before we get started, make sure you have everything you need. In the box, you should find your E285 payment terminal, the terminal charging cable, and the SIM card. You will also need a screwdriver. By default, the E285 is configured for a Wi-Fi connection. To inquire about adding standalone mode on Wi-Fi or 4G to your account, please reach out to your account manager or one of our dedicated sales representatives. Before you can pair your E285 terminal with your Lightspeed account, you'll need to insert the SIM card that came with it. First, loosen the retaining screw on the back panel of the terminal. Then, slide the cover off, revealing the battery and the SIM card slot. Place the SIM card into its slot above the battery. Make sure it's secure. Then, slide the cover back on. Next, connect one end of the charging cable into the terminal, then connect the other end to any device or charger with a USB port, such as a computer or phone charger. Allow the device to charge for a minimum of four hours the first time it's plugged in. Now, we will turn the terminal on. Press and hold the green circle button. The terminal will then turn on. Give it some time to load up. You will then be prompted to connect your network. Tap connect on screen, then tap the blue plus. You will now see a list of available networks. Tap your network and then use the keypad on the terminal to input your password. Once finished, confirm by pressing the green circle button. After a moment, you will see a Wi-Fi symbol appear in the top left of the screen and your connected network will be listed on screen. Press the red X button on the keypad to return to the home screen. You will now be prompted to board your terminal. This connects your terminal to your Lightspeed Payments account and the K-Series back office. Tap Board Terminal. Your business information will appear on screen. Tap Confirm and your terminal will begin updating. Give the terminal some time to run updates. This process could take up to 20 minutes and your terminal may restart several times during the process. Once finished, your terminal will open up on the home screen with the Lightspeed logo on it and you are now ready to process payments for your customers. If you need to change your Wi-Fi connection or access any of the terminal's other settings, press 9 on the keypad, followed by the green circle button. You will then be prompted to input the admin code for your terminal. Lightspeed provided terminals use the admin code 5773. Type the code using the keypad and then press the green circle button to confirm. You will then have access to all of the terminal settings, including network and device info. Now let's go to the back office and confirm the network connection. When Lightspeed sends you your terminal, we also configure the connection between your Lightspeed restaurant account and your Lightspeed payments account. To save you time, we also add your payment terminal to your back office. Sign in and go to Configuration, Hardware, Payment Terminals to view this information. If you have other terminals configured, they will also be listed here. If your terminal doesn't appear in the back office, I'll show you how to add it manually. If Lightspeed added your terminal for you, skip to six minutes. To get started, click add new terminal and fill in these four fields. The first field is terminal name. You can enter whatever will help you identify your terminal, such as front counter or left register. For this video, we'll name it E285. Next is terminal type. Click the drop down and select Lightspeed Payments Add Yet. Now, enter the IP address of your device. You can also change this information if your terminal is already in the back office. To find your terminal's IP address, go to Settings on the terminal, then tap Network Wi Fi, and then tap the information icon next to your connected network, and you will find the IP address listed along with other network information. 
input the IP address into the field in the back office. Finally, we have the terminal ID. The terminal ID must be entered in the following format, model dash serial number with no hyphens in the serial number. You can find the serial number by going into the terminal settings and tapping device info. Here, you will see the serial number listed. For this example, we'll enter E285P-806-530-530. Finally, there is no need to check this box to print credit card receipts as this terminal has no internal printer. Once you're ready, click Save and the terminal will be added to your back office. Before we run a test transaction, let's confirm that your terminal is connected to your POS. In your back office, go to Configuration, Devices, Devices. You should see your POS listed here. Click on the name or Edit. You can visit this page to configure your POS in the back office. For this video, we'll focus on the Payment Terminal section. Click the drop-down and select your terminal. Any other terminals added to your back office can be selected as backups. When you're done, scroll down and click Update. Now let's run a test transaction on the POS to ensure that your terminal is functioning properly. You may need to have a floor plan created in your back office to associate the order with a table. For more information on floor plans, click the link in the description. First, reload the configuration on your POS. Go to Settings, Control Center, and click Reload Device. Now you're ready to run the test transaction. On your POS, select Tables and choose one of the tables in your floor plan. Then, place an order. Keep in mind that this payment will process on your card, but you can refund it later. When you're done, Tap Pay at the bottom of the screen. Select the credit card with the Lightspeed logo under Payment Methods. You can also toggle if you want the receipt to print, and tap Pay. If you have multiple terminals connected, your POS will prompt you to select one. Finally, your terminal will prompt you to add a tip. Select an amount or tap No Tip. Then swipe, insert, or tap your card. A confirmation message will appear on your terminal and your POS will confirm that the payment is approved. This means your terminal is set up and ready to process payments. Then, you can return the test transaction and refund the amount to your card. If the payment doesn't process, first confirm that your terminal and iPad are connected to the same network. If both devices are on the same Wi-Fi and you're still having issues processing payments, you may have a DNS connection issue. On your iPad, go to Settings, Wi-Fi, and then tap the information icon next to your connected network. Scroll down to Configure DNS. If your DNS is set to automatic, switch it to manual. Now we'll edit your DNS servers. You should see two fields. If you only see one field, tap the Add Server button. In the first field, enter 8.8.8.8. In the second field, enter 8.8.4.4. This will ensure a secure connection between your POS and payment terminal. When you're done, make sure to tap Save. And that's it. You are now ready to process payments for your customers. If you have any questions, view the links in the video description or visit our K-Series Help Center.